The man behind Air Mars and Nectar has announced a multi-million pound investment in a retail technology venture whose clients include Marks & Spencer, Topshop and Uniqlo. Sir Keith Mills, who also spearheaded London's 2012 Olympics bid, will join the board of Acrebo. It enables stores to provide instant targeted offers to customers at the same time as their receipts based on their purchases. Sir Keith joins me now. So what attracted you to this business? Well, this is a really revolutionary company, Acrebo, designed some technology that the retail market's been looking for for years. And if you go back 60 or 70 years, when customers used to walk into the butcher shop and the retailers knew all their customers, uh, the holy grail for retailers is to be able to know their customers, what their needs are at the point of sale. And Acrebo provides a system to do just that. So what's its point of difference compared with other schemes of, that, uh, for example, like Tesco's Club Card or whatever? So Club Card collects the information about what customers are buying and, and then sends them offers. Those offers come three months later. You can't do it in real time no. like a, an Acrebo can, presumably. Yeah. Yeah. So literally at the point of sale, if you've gone into a supermarket and for the first time you've bought a, a pack of Pampers, it's a good chance you've just had a baby. And so the offers that you'll get and the communications you'll get at the point of sale in real time will be about babies. And so, and there's a lot of hard evidence to suggest that that will drive loyalty yeah, in a pretty strong huge. way. I mean, the, the, the retailers in the UK like M&S and Waitrose that have been using this system for a few years now are making massive massive amounts of money off of the incremental sales that they drive. And what about the team behind it? Tell us a bit about them. Well, uh, Dr Hassan Haji is an extraordinary individual. Um, uh, actually born in Egypt, educated in the UK, brought up in the UK, double first at Cambridge, went off and did computer science in Japan, in Japanese, uh, is the brains behind this business. And, uh, and this is the, the, the products that are being put into the market right now by Credo, Crebo are really the first of a new generation of products which will revolutionise the, the way retailers communicate with their customers. And it's UK, it's UK based and entirely UK it, owned? Based in Reading, it's UK owned. Um, we employ 40 odd developers uh, out in Reading and uh, the reason for this investment is to enable them to develop more products and to take uh, Acrebo globally, uh, and we're, we're targeting the US in particular. I mean, you meant, so taking it globally, how do we compare in the UK in terms of engendering loyalty among customers compared with other developed economies? We're, we're at the leading edge. I mean, when I developed Air Miles, actually back in the 1980s, the first customer loyalty programme, and uh, more recently Nectar, which is now actually 15 years or so old, um, we've led the way around the world and, uh, and that's why we're so excited about Acrebo because, again, uh, British technology and British know-how is leading uh, the way in, in retail. And, you know, there are some pretty sophisticated systems around the world, but we've always taken the lead. Now, among your many other hats, you're also the backer of uh, our Sir Ben Ainsley's America's Cup Challenge coming up in May. How are we going to do? Very exciting. We're, we've been trying to win the America's Cup. This is a competition that we started in 1851 and we've never won. So for 160 plus years we've been trying to win it and this time with Ben Ainsley, Martin Whitmarsh, the ex-CEO of McLaren uh, and an incredible team of designers and sailors, uh, we have the best chance ever of returning this extraordinary trophy back to the UK. Who's the main competition? The States presumably? Yeah, the Americans. Or Oracle, a team uh, owned by Larry Ellison, the Oracle billionaire. Uh, they've uh, they won it in San Francisco, um, and um, uh, you know, huge deep pockets, lots of um, very smart sailors. Uh, but I really feel in Bermuda in May and June this year we have a real chance of winning this cup.